Hey everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I'm Shan Sharma and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at 10 beginner Python projects that you can create if you recently started learning Python language. Let's get started with this video. All right, so you've just started learning Python. You have a basic understanding of what loops are, what conditionals are. Maybe you've even learned about objects and classes in Python. Now would be a good time for you to start creating some mini projects, right? These would be some small projects that you can create to create a foundation, a strong foundation in this Python language that you are learning. So let's take a look at the first project that you can create. I'll talk about what the project is about and what will you learn from that. Now the first project to create would be a text based game. It can be a text adventure game, whatever you want to create. I'm not giving you the exact game mechanics, but the idea here is to use the command line interface and to create a very simple text game, right? You can even use the random module instead of Python to predict something or just to have some random number, uh, right? So you can do something like that. That will teach you how to create logic and how to break down a particular problem using if else statements and that would be great for you right so this is the first program that you can create moving on to the second one and this is going to be to create a text calculator a text calculator will again be really good for you to understand how to break everything down you will be using an input command with which you will be taking up some input from the user you can just ask what is it that you want to perform? What operation do you want to perform? And then based upon what particular operation the person has entered, you can just check for that. You can use an if statement, you can use an else statement, uh, elif statement as well, and then you can create that particular calculator on the command line itself. It's very simple to create and you'll be able to understand how to create one project from the ground up and get it up and running. You can also use a py2exe module with which you can actually convert this .py file into a .exe file with which you can install this program into your Windows laptop, for example. So that's actually going to be the second project, a text calculator. Very simple to make. You can just have a very simple operations plus minus uh, divide, multiply, even like percentage you can have. So this is what I would advise you to do. Now the third project that you can start creating would be a rock, paper, scissors game. Now, if you have learned how to create command line interface application, simple text programs, you can then move on. You can learn about turtle module. The turtle module will enable you to create some graphical visualizations. And with that, you can create a rock, paper, scissors game very simply. So that would be another way for you to learn about the various modules in Python. Python has a lot of modules, honestly, and it can be really intimidating at the beginning, but this is what you can do, right? You can start off with turtle module. It's very simple. You have the, the pen. And then with that, you can create whatever you want to create. You can just write where do you want to go? What angle do you want to go? And with that, you can create some really cool visualizations. Now the fourth project that you can create in Python would actually be a tic-tac-toe game. So this tic-tac-toe game will be really interesting. What you can do is that you can be one player and then the second player can be the computer itself. You can use something called as a minimax algorithm with which you can predict where should the computer put the next mark. It can be like a like an X or like an O, right? So the computer can decide that on itself. This will teach you again how to implement the, the algorithm itself. And then you'll also be able to use functions. You'll be able to create your own functions. You'll be able to even create classes if you want to. And this would just be a great project all together. So yeah, this would be the fourth project that you can create. So do take a look at creating tic-tac-toe. Now let's move on to the fifth project and that would be again to create a game, but this time we'll be including visuals. We'll be having the complete graphical user interface and it would actually look pretty. In this case, you can actually start using something called a spy game. Now this is a gaming engine which allows you to create games. It has some uh, you know, built-in functions, built-in methods that will allow you to create some games very simply. Take a look at the python or pygame.org website in which they have a lot of great tutorials with which you can learn it. We also have some great tutorials on the Geeks for Geeks website, so you can take a look at that as well. But the bottom line here is that you can use pygame to very quickly just create classes of your uh, whatever things that you have in your game. Let's say you have a hero, you have a villain. Let's say you have some pipes, whatever environment you have in your game, you can start creating that using classes. You can have one main while loop. And then inside of that, you can include all of the activities that will be happening. You can check for all the things that the user can actually input. So that would be another way for you to learn about the Python language. You'll be able to use 
this Pygame module for doing that. Take a look at it. It's really interesting. I myself have built a lot of games using Pygame. Uh, what are the games that you can create if you are asking me that? Well, you can take a look at Snake Game. That's really interesting. You can also take a look at uh, Pong Game, for example. Or what you can also do is that you can integrate this tic-tac-toe game and you can have its own graphical user interface that would also look really great so yeah take a look at this there are endless uh, choices for you i am just giving you a brief idea of what you can do it depends on your own imagination on what you want to create exactly by the way let us know in the comment section below what are the projects that you would want to create or what are the projects that you've already created and you've really enjoyed those now moving on to the sixth project that you can create and this would be another game it's called as hangman now this is a very much popular game a lot of people uh, are creating this project it's very fun to create and you'll also learn how everything works in python you can use turtle module you can also use pygame module depends on what you want to go with i personally use the pygame module to create it you can also have some photos you can have some images to create it now if you don't know what hangman really is let me explain it to you in very simple terms Think of it like this, you are given one complete word which has let's say seven letters. Out of those seven, only three letters are written over there, rest all are fill in the blanks. And your job is to predict what those letters would actually be. If you click on the right letter, then you will be approved and that letter will pop up over there. And let's say you click on the wrong letter, then what would happen is that the hangman loses a life and hangman only has like what, six, seven lives after which it actually ends up dying, right? So what you can do is that you can have your own list of words and out of that list, you can use random.choice to pick out any one particular string and then you can use that and have some fill in the blanks over there. Take a look at that, it's really interesting and let me know if you're able to create something like this. Let's move on to the next project, the seventh project and this would be to create some sort of web scraper, right? Now web scraper is really something that Python is used a lot for. It is heavily used for web scraping, for downloading uh, the elements of some website. What you can do is that you can try to create a YouTube downloader. Okay, or you can maybe try to create an Instagram photo downloader or an Instagram video downloader. Try to do this, it would be very simple or you can also create some sort of price tracker, right? Let's say you have a laptop that you want to buy on Amazon or Flipkart. What you can do is that you can just go to the inspect element of that particular web page. You can find exactly the name of the laptop and the price tag and then you can extract that particular information and you can have it into your own program. And with that, you can just check every once in a while exactly how the laptop is worth. And then you can think about if you want to buy it or not. So this, is, this would be like a great example with which you can learn how web scraping in Python actually works. Moving on to the next project, the eighth project, and this would be to create your own Twitter bot. Now, if you don't know how to work with APIs, this would be a great example of how can you get started with it. Now, now Twitter gives you an API with which you can get a lot of information, right? You can do a lot of experiments with it. Take a look at it. It might take you some time to get that API key and access token and all that. But once you do have it, you can start to create some really interesting projects. Basically, you'll be using a TwiPy module in Python. I think TwiPy or TwiPy, whatever you call it. But the way this works is that you can use it. You can provide your own access token, your own access uh, password. And once you have done that, you can start to access some particular information from Twitter itself. So maybe you can create a Twitter bot that retweets all the tweets which has hashtag cricket in it, right? That would be like a great example that you can use to understand how the API actually works. Now you can go a lot deeper. You can schedule your own Twitter tweets as well. It depends on you. It depends on how can you imagine what you need to create. And then you can go ahead with that. Let's move on to the next one. And this is going to be to create a GUI or you know graphical user interface using Tickenter. Now Tickenter is another really popular module inside of Python which enables you to create some amazing graphical uh, you know interfaces using Tickenter's own methods and functions. It's very simple to create. It's very easy for you to just create buttons, fields. You can input some data. You can check for that data. You can do a lot of things over there. Take a look at some you know articles that we have on Geeks for Geeks website. You'll get to learn a lot from that. Now I'm not telling you exactly what you can create like maybe you can create like a music player for example you can choose a particular music file and then it can actually play that music file try to create that it's really interesting i saw it on some github repository and i really liked it so that is also something that you can try it out yourself now let's move on to the last project that you can create as a beginner if you are getting into python and this will be to create a virtual assistant using gtts 
Now that is short form for Google text to speech. It is a module inside of Python that you can import after which you can use the Google services and it would be used to detect what the person is saying. How can you output some particular uh, you know, string of words? And this is super helpful for you. You can have some if statements in which you can say if someone is saying hello or if someone is saying maybe like a wake phrase like Jarvis or Friday, if Friday in this particular phrase, then maybe you would want to respond by saying hello sir or whatever you want to you know have as an output. Maybe you can also use the Google Calendar API with which you can just ask, hey Google, do I have any meetings scheduled for today? And it would just tell you, okay, these are the lectures that you have. Uh, this is the time when you go out for a walk. This is the time, whatever you have scheduled into your Google Calendar, it would just show that to you in that particular program. So take a look at this GTTS module, also take a look at speech recognition. That is also something that you will be using in conjunction with the GTTS module. Sky is a limit over here, depends on what you want to create and what is your imagination like. You can create some amazing virtual assistants. So yeah, uh, tell me in the comment section down below what are the projects that you will be creating. I know some of them are very simple and if that is the case, maybe you are not a beginner, maybe you are more of an intermediate Python developer. But anyways, we'll be talking about those projects as well in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.